And I just wanted to thank you all, you know, for inviting me to do this demo. It sounds like, um, really seems like you guys have a thriving and organized community in our club. And I'm already impressed specifically by um, uh, Luki, his drawings. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, okay, I've got some competition for my demo coming up, so <laughs> that's great. Um, and then the, yeah, I sell my paintings regularly at Meyer Gallery, and then with my solo show that's coming up in um, September, that's the Springfield Museum of Art. And I'm kind of using almost like a triangulation method initially when I start. I, I wouldn't say I'm a triangulation draftsman, but, um, and that's meaning if any of you guys aren't familiar with that term, it just means you, you know, if you find one point and another point, no matter where you put them, you can automatically conclude where the third point would be based off of angle logic. And this that I'm drawing with is called vine charcoal. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that, but um, it's basically just uncompressed charcoal. It's a lot, it almost acts like watercolor on the paper in the sense of how malleable it is. Um, I also use a method of checking my horizontals and verticals. That's like one of the main things that I'm checking right off the bat. And what that means is if I hold my pencil vertically up like this and horizontally, I see which points they line up with. So for example, on the image, if her back starts right here, I can hold a pencil right here and look at the distance between where let's say her neck begins and her back starts. But generally the eyes will be right in the middle of the head. So I'm going to measure from the center line of the eyes down to the chin, basically right there on my image, just again, holding my arm out. And then I'm going to replicate that same distance up. And that's about where the top of the head would be. So if I'm saying that this is where the eyes will be, then even though I can't see it, that automatically tells me but that the top of the head is going to be about right here. So right off the bat too, I'm measuring my, checking my horizontal alignment with where let's say the base of her ear starts. And I know that if I'm saying that this is where her jaw begins or ends, if I check a horizontal alignment, then her ear should start about this far up. And then I work in a method that um, is general to specific, you know? So I'm just kind of blocking everything really loosely in until I get a feel for things. And then I'll slowly get more and more uh, more specific, I can, and then I'm thinking about shape, like height to width, like, and I'm kind of building off of something as I go. So now here I, I can put in the jaw. And now that I'm kind of having this general shape established, I'm going to check my height to width of her face. So from, let's say, cheekbone to about the outside of her ear, from the base of her chin, and it actually matches up with her eyebrows. So since I have this center line, for the eyes, I'm gonna just go straight in for the eyes and find a couple shapes I can go off of. Here's kind of an eye socket that I can block out. And that gives me the angle of the nose. And normally if I had a really strong light pattern going on right here, um, where let's say the eye sockets are in shadow, I would just start and go with like, let's say shading in each of the eye sockets and then the shadow that would typically be underneath the nose and then probably the top lip and the shadow right underneath the bottom lip. Okay, so with this, as I'm starting to kind of block in where I'm gonna put the mouth, I'm gonna say the wing of the mouth, I'm checking my vertical line with where the wing of the mouth lines up with the eye. And that's probably gonna either shift my eye slightly or dictate where my mouth goes. And I'm remembering to look at the whole drawing. And I think, you know, rather than just focusing in on one little area, I'm getting these really general shapes and the whole time I'm thinking, okay, this, if this is the angle of the eyes, that's gonna be the angle of the nose and the angle of the mouth because all of those are on the same axis. Um, another thing that I, you, you might notice that I'm doing is when I'm drawing, I, when I draw a curve, for example, this ear right here, I draw in a series of straight lines to construct a curve um, because it helps me pay attention to the angles of, the curve better. Well, there is that for a quick demo um, of how I would approach a sketch in charcoal.